man, there's so much going on. So this is going to be about uh, George Santos, Rudy Giuliani, and Donald Trump. George is in trouble, Rudy's in trouble, and Donald's getting in more and more trouble as we speak. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Could have imagined George Santos in more trouble. So the FBI was secretly investigating him behind the scenes, campaign finance fraud, finance fraud, a couple of other things. He's in trouble. So let's see what the cards say about him. Then Rudy Giuliani. I mean, the lady has come up and said he sexually harassed me and was trying to sell pardons for two million dollars and split it with Donald Trump. That leads us to Donald Trump. Was he actually, and did he actually get, and was Jerry Kushner involved? Did, so did they sell pardons? Did they split the money? Let's see what the cards say about all of them. This is going to be a good one because we got a triple uh, play here. So George Santos, I mean, what... A mess. I mean, I believe he thought he got away with it and didn't um, expect that the FBI was doing some investigation. And it's good for the FBI because right now they're getting a, a bad uh, image with what happened uh, in the Donald Trump uh, Russia probe. So the FBI, behind the scenes, they were investigating Santos and uh, they came up with uh, a lot of indictments. And so now he's in trouble. He's been arrested. He's got himself out on bail. Where'd that money come from? And so we'll talk about that. Then the other situation is Rudy Giuliani. I can't hit. So his staffer, someone who worked for him, has come forward and say, oh yeah, sexual harassment. Oh yeah, making schemes on the side to sell pardons and include Donald Trump and some other things. Oh yeah, this was true. So let's uh, draw cards on that. And then of course, Donald, all this brings you right back to Donald Trump with uh, Rudy Giuliani and all the stuff that's going on with the special probe. If the FBI had some secrets that they surprised on George Santos, imagine what Jack Smith, the special counsel investigating Donald Trump, uh, has waiting for him. He's already lost several cases, so let's see how Donald Trump is going to fare in all of his legal troubles. But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment, you know, a meditation. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm always amazed at these crooked people, how crooked they are and what lengths they're willing to go to. And I know for a fact that they start out, I don't know about for a fact, but I know they start out in their lying uh, life history, not really thinking that they're doing anything wrong. It's just what they do. That's how you get things. That's how you get things accomplished in the world, right? No. So, um, so then by the time they graduate to just these huge lies that all these folks are telling us, and I can't shuffle today, I'm sorry. Got a lot on my mind. Um, but um, there you go. Rudy Giuliani, look at what a hero he was. And then Donald Trump, just, you know, you know, a career criminal liar. He just thought that's how you do business, I guess. So first, George Santos. George Santos. Three cards, are you going to jail? One, two, three. And again, because he already has been arrested. So let's see if he's going to jail for this. I think the cards know what I'm talking about. George Santos, you're going to jail. Well, <laughs> this is the world card, major arcana, beginnings and endings. So the end of something is here, but the beginning of something else. Could, this could mean it's the end of his career and it's the beginning of his punishment. The next card, is the Queen of Cups. Okay, so he's looking for compassion. Cups are um, heartfelt uh, situations, emotion. You could consider this like the Queen of Hearts. So I think he's going to portray himself as the Queen of Hearts. Now we're talking about his drag queen presence, I suppose, or his feminine side. But it looks like that's gonna be 
you know, he's, he's going to seek sympathy. And I, I bet he'll even cop to, oh, I had this emotional, mental situation, and I need your uh, sympathy from that. And the final card, the King of Wands. Actions, plans, forward movement. The King of Wands, for me, is uh, the government with the action to move forward. The government, the king is the strongest of those cards. He's going to make sure his action uh, is followed. So yeah, it's the end of one thing, the beginning of another. I think it's the end of George Santos' ride and the beginning of his repayment of his for his crimes. I think he's going to play the um, uh, passion card, compassionate uh, sympathy card on his mental illness. And But I think the government's going to say no. You're going to pay for what you did. You're in full control of what you were doing. That's what's going to happen with George Santos. Now, Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani, um, I guess he was always this criminal, crooked guy. And we didn't know it. We gave him all the credit because I think he did a good job when he was mayor of New York. Uh, and 9-11, um, you know, he managed that well. Is, is his mind just gone? You know, and... Um, it's like he sold himself out at the last minute. I, um, let's do three cards on whether his mental state is less uh, than it was when he was uh, when he was uh, mayor of New York. Is Rudy Giuliani suffering from an impaired mental state having to do with his old age? It has to be um, for him to make such egregious mistakes. First card. Ah, look at that death. Death isn't always death, but it's definitely the end of a cycle, and it can be a very gloomy end of a cycle. So yeah, I think this is the end of Rudy's um, heyday, okay? So is he got a mental problem? Uh, the next card, ah, this is interesting. So pentacles are value, it can be money. I think in this case, it's both. This person is looking back at his bush that he's cultivated and said, did I do enough? Did I take enough? Have I cultivated this well? I think Louis, uh, Rudy Giuliani is looking back on his career and say, look where I am now, because I think he's out of money. Look where I am now, and did I manage this well? And he was, I think this was a last ditch effort, this run with Trump, to try to get back some glory. But is he in a demented state? Ah, and the Ace of Wands, and Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. This is a great big push that he was making to try to get this done. It doesn't tell us that he had a, motion, uh, a mental problem uh, at all, but let's do one more card. Rudy Giuliani was your mental condition the reason why this change in you. The King of Swords, no, it wasn't what it is. He was, uh, he felt uh, betrayed. He was looking for his justice, okay? He was looking for his justice. He, it was not his mental state. He just um, wasn't successful anymore and was looking for that last push and was willing to do anything to do it. So now Donald Trump. We're going to do six cards on this guy because he's got so much going on. Um, Donald Trump, there's so much there. I don't know. What, I guess the, the one thing we really need to know, I think, or what I'm curious about anyway, is uh, with Jack Smith, that special counsel, is he got some good incriminating stuff uh, simmering in the background, waiting until it's just prepared just right until the pot is just about ready to boil over yeah, does he have the the information that's going to finally bring uh, justice to Donald Trump let's do six cards on that one two three four five six Donald Trump is he finally is his comeuppance coming up so Donald Trump, let's see what we got going for you, buddy. First card, signifier for Donald Trump are all his problems coming to the head. Oh my God, yeah. So this is the Eight of Cups. Cups are compassion, emotion. This is walking away, okay? This is walking away from all those perfectly good cups. They look like they're all full. And this is Donald Trump walking away from this stuff that's really, if he has a, a, a passionate component to him it's for himself and look at this he's leaving behind everything that he thinks is so dear um, the challenge to that though is look at this this page of Pentacles Pentacles are value worth money value again okay and but the page is the very weakest of the royal cards he's got a very little he just brings a suggestion to the court and says mm, maybe you can do something with this this is all Trump has left it's all of his value 
is seeping away and all he has left is a pages worth of value and uh, the money's going that way too. The, the basis of this reading is the Queen of Cups. Again, I love when the cards repeat. That means they, it tells me that the cards know how I'm going to read that card, and they bring it back for a clear definition. So, yeah, this is the Queen of Compassion. Could you say the Queen of Hearts? And the basis of whole, this whole thing, I think he, too, will eventually revert to some sort of a compassionate plea. Um, you know, my mental state isn't what it used to be. In the past of this reading, ah, it's an Ace of Cups. So, th But this is in the past. Cups are, again, compassion, emotion. And this is a great big helping of that. But look, we can see that this bird is taking a nosedive into that great big offering of compassion. I think whatever he had, that perhaps the Republican Party was offering to him in a way of, we'll keep you on, we're going to hang on to you because you're useful to them. I think that great big offer of, of, you know, in that regard is in the past. It's waning. In the sky of this reading, for Donald Trump and all his issues, Wanting six of, of cups, cups again, very emotional situations. This is a very personal situation to Donald Trump. And this is wishing things were the way they were in the past. Yeah, he is very, I think he's very unhappy that he ever got involved in politics because this has been the undoing of him. And the final outcome for Donald Trump is his come up is coming is look at this, the Queen of Wands. There is a female energy, there's lots of female energy that has plans to crack down on this guy, Donald Trump. I think it's coming to end. Let's do one more card, um, and maybe that'll go to four cards. We'll see to make this a full Celtic cross. We'll do one more card. Is this Donald Trump's comeuppance? Okay, the Hermit card. We'll do four more. The Hermit card is telling us that, yeah, this is a time of introspection. Okay, the very definition of this reading for Donald Trump is that he's looking into this as carefully as he can with his uh, diseased uh, brain, in my opinion, you know. But uh, to see, let me shine a light on this. What is the plan I can have? But he's an old, feeble man doing that. The um, environment that that's in for Donald Trump is again that knight of wands I'll repeat card you know how i'm going to read it this knight this donald trump is fighting for his plan but look he's a knight now he's a strong fighter he's not going to give up donald trump is not going to give up the fight but he's not a king he's not a queen in this one he's not the emperor he's a knight so he's all he's got left is the fighter in him which is not a bad thing the uh, hopes and the fears for Donald Trump in this regard, or right here, and look at this, another repeat card, that Knight of Pentacles, the hopes and the fears is that he can be that steadfast knight fighting for his value, but look, it's a very small amount of value, it's a very small amount of money, but look, he is stubborn, this knight isn't going anywhere, and the final outcome for Donald Trump is his final comeuppance coming up. The Lover's Card, there's a deal in the, in the future for Donald Trump in this regard. Sad to say. You know, you'll always hear me tell you that the cards don't lie. What the cards say is what the cards say, but it's my interpretation that's subject to, you know, some, some problems. So let me know what you think. How do you interpret the cards? What do you see when you look down there at the cards? <laughs> and, um, you know, tell me what you want me to read about. And I'll read about that. Yeah, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so this is the newest deck I've got. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Um, it's just another take on uh, from Los Scarbio on um, the um, the classic Rider Waite Tarot. But uh, apparently this person Wise has had their input into it. And uh, the, what I love about it, first of all, it's got a great container. I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, what would I think about it? And I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box... I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're going to see. It's a close-up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look, in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves, I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And, you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks. It's in a few different languages, and it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divide the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific... A synopsis of uh, how uh, this uh, uh, Rider weight uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about author Waite and Pamela Coleman Smith, who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic uh, theory and history of all of that. 
Um, it is, uh, gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about, about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the, the cards. So I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now, the cards themselves, they got a cool back, they're kind of shiny, and um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique kind of a, a feel. So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems, and so in that they're close up, but they're still vibrant with color. And I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in the typical tarot drawing. And that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, then there's a third uh, benefit, is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle. or, or And then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.